I feel like I'm back in the land of the living. That, you know, and that's exactly, I feel like I, I've gotten my life back. You know, I was, I, I was a walking dead person. I felt, yeah, I was just, I had nothing to offer, nothing to give. I couldn't even give myself. But now I'm enjoying my life again. I'm feeling vibrant. I'm feeling joyful. I'm, um, I'm wanting to do things. Very dismal, um, exhausting. I had, I was, I was lethargic. I was traumatized due to several life experiences that piled one on top of the other. And it literally sucked the life blood out of me. I couldn't get up off the sofa. I, I honestly, not to be disgusting, but I couldn't even take a shower for days on end because I didn't physically or mentally have the energy to do that. I have three young boys and uh, I just, I couldn't get up to play with them, let alone sit and read with them. I was very irritable. Um, uh, it, it affected um, my marriage in the sense that I just couldn't even engage with my husband very much. He was very understanding, I have to say, very helpful and compassionate and empathetic, but um, it still was a strain on our, our familial relationships you know, within our, our core family. I have had counseling previously to all of this, um, and that did really help uh, mentally and emotionally, but the physical aspect of the traumas just wreaked havoc on my body. And the counseling mentally didn't help with those symptoms. So I just continued going downward physically, um, just trying to push through, but my body wouldn't allow me to. So um, I haven't done anything prior to that for the physical aspect of the symptoms. I honestly went online and I think I typed in something like, I'm always exhausted. Um, I don't remember the exact words because it was a year and a half ago, but something like, I'm always exhausted. What's wrong with me? Something to that effect. And you popped up and I read, you know, the things that you had on the online. I'm like, that sounds like me. And I gave you a call <laughs> and it was me. <laughs> no, I was so excited. I was like, I, I felt like I found the answer to what is going on with me and, and, you, Dr. Neville, and your team have provided, you know, the the roadmap for me to follow, to, to take the, the steps. And there's a lot of them, but they have been phenomenal. Um, you know, it's not, it hasn't been an easy road, but I, I didn't have any hesitancy because I was, I felt like, oh my goodness, there's an answer to what I'm experiencing. And this sounds like it's it because they know without me even telling them what my symptoms are. Uh, the salt, um, I, I was very skeptical about that. I was afraid my ankles were, were going to swell up and I was going to have all this water retention in my body. And I didn't. But I also noticed that I wasn't urinating frequently anymore. And that was huge. Um, another aspect was the um, relaxation exercises, the meditations. That was extremely difficult for me to do because my mind was all over the place. And I, it's like squirrel, you know, and I had to keep bringing it back in. But I, my, at now I have to say that my body is recognizing when I get to that state where I'm really fatigued, where before I just thought I was tired. Now I can tell the difference between being tired and the adrenal fatigue. There's a distinct difference. And I recognize that now. And when I, I feel that adrenal fatigue kicking in, I automatically know I need to do a relaxation exercise. And they are like mini vacations. Mm -hmm. I feel a difference immediately when I do a 20 minute relaxation exercise. So that has been key. Also getting off of sugar has been another huge key factor for me. And I am a sugarholic. So that has been the toughest thing. And I was doing well for a couple months. And then I thought, oh, I'm okay. And I started having my snacks and my sweets and everything. And I took a nosedive. So I recognized the difference. And once I got off, it took about six weeks again to get off of sugar. 
but my body started responding. And that's a big difference that I've experienced. That has been another huge key component for my healing process, to have the accountability to be on office hours and get my personal questions uh, asked, but also to listen to the other callers, to just be a fly on the wall, so to speak, because I've gleaned so much from their questions or sometimes something they ask made me think of something else that I needed to inquire on my own. So that has been a huge component. And constantly hearing um, the bucket situation and the, the balance and imbalance and what we need to take out and, and your empathy and your reassurance and your tenderness, Dr. Neville, I have to say that that has been a mainstay for me. There have been times where, you know, I'll be doing something and I'll, I'll hear your voice in the back of my head, you know, ask for help, say no, you know, do a relaxation exercise or, you know, but it's a tender voice. It's not a, you know, a harsh, you know, sounding like I told you, no, no, never. So office hours has been a huge component. Um, I've actually looked forward to, to attending that every, every opportunity. Um, I am able to recognize what takes me down and out now, and I know what to do about it, whether it's stress dosing, whether it's doing a relaxation exercise, whether it's watching my diet and saying, oh, what did I allow in that, you know, I shouldn't have. Um, my energy levels are um, so much better uh, when I um, I, I'm actually taking showers every day again, which was like, woohoo! <laughs> and, you know, before it was the mental capacity, I couldn't even get up off the sofa. Now I'm thinking, you know what, I need a shower and I want one, you know, I mean, even that small component has, has changed. Um, and I'm sure my family's grateful. <laughs> and I'm actually able to get out and enjoy playing catch with my kids in the backyard and doing things with my husband again and enjoying life again and, and getting together with friends again, where I wasn't doing any of those things. In my words, I say, I feel, I feel like I'm back in the land of the living. That, you know, and that's exactly, I feel like I, I've gotten my life back. You know, I was, I, I was a walking dead person. I felt, yeah, I was just, I had nothing to offer, nothing to give. I couldn't even give myself. But now I'm enjoying my life again. I'm feeling vibrant. I'm feeling joyful. I'm, um, I'm wanting to do things. It takes intentionality. It doesn't happen. The healing doesn't happen by itself. Um, I have to be very intentional with what I put in my mouth. I have to be very intentional to do the relaxation exercises. I have to be intentional to ask for help and to recognize when I am not at my fullest capacity. Um, I have to be intentional um, even just to take a walk. When, I'm, when I started to feel a little bit better and a little more energy, just to get outside, even to sit on my deck in the fresh air and be mindful of my surroundings, of the trees and the clouds and the birds and, and you know, the vagus nerve that you talk about stimulating, <laughs> you know, just sitting out on the deck in, in, in the atmosphere of, you know, God's creation. It really um, helped um, strengthen me and, and nurture me in those areas. So it, intentionality is a big part of it all. Honestly, I, I think you and your team do a phenomenal job with everything. I can't think of one thing that you can do better. From, from being available, from your heart empathy, from the reassurance you provide, because there have been many times I felt like this is my lot in life and I'm never going to get better. And you continually and through office hours said, you will get better. Just be patient, hold on, keep doing what you're doing. You know the things to do, just stick with it. And then, like I said, your team has done the same thing. You're doing a good job, hang in there, you know, try this, here's a, here, you know, nutritionally try this, or here's an idea. The support you offer 
in every way undergirds what I had to do. And, and I didn't feel like I was doing it by myself. Even though you told me what to do, I had to do it. I still didn't feel like I was doing it by myself. The support you offer is invaluable.